Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to the Tug Dick Show. We are, I think, like last in our division. We're not terribly far away from second, third, fourth, so it's not like things are over. We're only two games under 500, but we've had a very up and down year so far. At least we're going back home to play. We might have played home last game. I don't remember. I think we did. I think we lost at home last game against these very Rockies. You see Tug Dick and crew head out onto the field. Hopefully we can win this game. We were all at 500 before. Ellen bored Dick. He's bored of the Dick. Never get bored of Tug Dick. Fister, a losing record again. Top of the first, no outs. Charlie Blackmon coming up to the plate. Funny, he looks white to me. It does not usually bode well if the first guy is getting good contact and hitting it deep. You are out, good sir. There and it's a first pitch out to start the ball game. And there you see, look now at the Giants' defensive alignment behind him. Yeah, check out all these good guys: Buster Posey, Hunter Pence, Gregor Blanco, the Dick Meister, Wolverine, uh, Bluto. I read them backwards. Uh, Perry Tatum. I don't know him really. <laughs> Tug Dick leading the team in stolen bases. Bottom of the first, one out, man on first. He's ready now, the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. How can you be bored of the dick? The Tug, you got a weird looking face. Sorry. That was rude. Gotta be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball. Sometimes Tug Dick doesn't have a filter on when to talk and when not to talk. If he ever gets a girlfriend, she'll probably be embarrassed by him all the time. It makes your whole staff breathe. Oh, look at you showboating. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Bordick is just like, look at these moves I got. It was a pretty cool move, to be honest. We did advance the runner to scoring position, but they got nothing out of it, unfortunately. Worst, top of the second. Colorado has the bases loaded with no outs. Tydick needs to go visit Thomas and friends to get some encouragement. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well after you got it, Tug Dick. Oh no! But he can't hold Shoot! Oh, boy. His fielding percentage numbers still are not great. Oh my god, that was a horrible error. Well, I think it's pretty clear what's happening here. He's focused so much on lining up. He's like, oh, what? Oh, shoot! Too busy thinking about the trains there on the wall in left field. We are down by five runs now. Tug Dick 0 for 1. Tug Dick, we need to get something going to make up for that big mistake earlier. Here's the pitch. Swing and that was not it. I don't think it's going to go in the stands, unfortunately. Near the stands and he wow, that was a good catch by the first in. baseman. He took that right out of the first row. Wow. Giants down in order. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Yeah, I feel like this fans there just like, what in the world is going on? Top of the fourth one out. Digs in here having earned an RBI on a sack fly in his first plate appearance. Tug Dick is like, I'm so mad! Well, you gotta hit better, dude. Goes down to get this thing as this is lifted in the air to straight. I can do it this time, train dudes. Dick. Believe in me. <laughs> I bet Tug Dick earlier went to the trains was like, I'm sorry I failed you. Are you my daddy? We got a run! Top of the fifth. We're still down by four runs, though. Two outs. The Rockies have a man on first. Despite our losing record, I love that still, the Giants fans have come out in huge numbers to support the team. Great catch! Even if the camera angle was crap on that. One left for Colorado. They lead this one, though. Five to one. Top 
Tug Dick 0 for 2, bottom of the fifth, two outs. We honestly need something big to happen. Tug Dick is having a hard time getting on. Gets under this one. It doesn't help when you swing that crap. I can't believe you caught that. Rawr! Tug Dick's going to take that trolley and ro drive it through everybody. Then he's going to learn it's on a track, so it's not going to be successful. Well, I don't know if that one is, but they're in general. Colorado up 7-2, to two, bottom of the 7th. Man on first. Oh, again, got under it too much. I would have loved if he would have dropped that. Bottom of the ninth, no outs. No hits for Tug Dick. New pitcher on the mound. He's got a slurve and a 12-6 curveball. That bodes poorly. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one. And All right, let's do it again. Swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Swinging a ball oh, on the ground. that might be the but best pitch we get all at bat. And it's, still 0 and 2. it's nice to hear the fans making some noise. Tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Tug dick, tug dick. That sounds weird still. No, oh, I don't think it's gonna carry enough. I want it to though. Nope. Blackman is there. Solid contact, but not enough. And we lose again! Bochi's like, oh for five? 0 oh, for 5, I can go 0 oh, for 5! Yeah, I know, coach. 0 oh, for 5! And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here? I always say we run out of the stadium and cry. I don't want to play Colorado again. Tug Dick had a rough spot, a rough time. Still, when you give up 7 runs in a game as a team, it's going to be tough. Tug Dick's certainly not player of anything that game. That's one of those games you want to forget out about as soon as you can. We are down by three games. We are last in the division. Oh, you still have two more games against Colorado. I thought that was it. Well, here we go again. I think Tug Dick was living in denial. He's like, no more games against Colorado. No more. They're like, we're playing them tomorrow. No. No, we don't. <laughs> Just because you don't want to play them doesn't mean you don't have to play them. It's a cold night at AT&T Park in San Francisco, conjuring now distant memories of the stick. Tonight it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the West leading Colorado Rockies and the San Francisco Giants. Bring in a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Colorado Rockies. Oh find shit. Like this here tonight. Well, Brandon Moss is back. And he's hitting the number four spot. Also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers. I wish they would move Tug Dick up and Buster Posey up. They moved Buster Posey into the number one spot. With how well he's been hitting this year, that's probably good. Man, Matt Kane's ERA is horrible. It's not good to see Brandon Moss back. <laughs> Moss is probably like, I'm back. We're going to start winning now. Charlie Blackman will get and Charlie Blackman is doing well against our pitching in the series. Three for nine. He wants it down in the 220s to begin the ball game. And he goes uh -oh. away as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Well, they kept him to a double, but that still wasn't good. Well, he just about kicked this one off with a bang. This one had a pretty good chance. Thomas is like, why were you attacking my train friends? Or not Thomas. Tuck Dick. And an explosive start to this game. Do you hate mass transit?
Tug Dick still the giant leader in stolen bases. We are down by a run, bottom of the first two outs. And there are two away here in the opening frame. Pitch on the way. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Two out, nobody on. Still trying to get a hit. Last game was horrible. And he gets around on the fastball here as this is hit well out toward left field. Hawk no. He's going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. That's frustrating. We were down by two runs, man, on third, one out. You know what, Tug Dick, all you need to do, what Tug Dick did at that last at bat, it would work this time. We got to get in, we at least have to get a run in at the very least. There we go. RBI single. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they are on the board as the run scores from... Tug Dick is like, that took forever. Felt like the longest drought. Hitting it where it's pitched. This pitch is away, so... Oh, no, I just heard Brandon Moss announce. <laughs> Tug Dick is probably like, oh, shit. That's a great at-bat. Brandon Moss at the plate. Tying run on first. Go ahead and run at the plate. Into the box now. Brandon Moss. Look, Brandon Moss, Tug Dick is helping you by getting you a free ball. He's like, what was that? Why did they pitch to me? Brandon Moss, can you stand in the box and play? Don't think too hard. You're going to hurt your brain. And I'm sorry to the real Brandon Moss. I'm just talking about in-game Brandon Moss. Let's go, Giants. Great job hitting into a double play. Oh, he didn't. Well, for Brandon Moss, that's a success to fill his choice, I guess. Once again, Brandon Moss does not advance the runner, but at least, well, we got no runs out of it, so it was worthless. Tug Dick, one for two. Man on first, one out. Tug Dick's like, I got so much dirt in my cleats. I'm trying to keep it going, woman. Get off my ass. Get the second, bro. I believe he did. Don't touch me, catcher. And not what they were hoping for is that moves the possible tying run into scoring. That position. was perfect. Hunter getting to second. All right, one out, runner in scoring position. He waits. Now the pitch. Hit pretty well as this is out toward. Come on, have faith. All right, don't have faith. It will get him over the third, though. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. I'm sure he'd like to have another shot at that pitch. But you know, at least he's able to move that. Yeah, he did his job. The tying run is on third now. Hopefully somebody can get him home. And nobody could. Damn it. Ding dong, damn it. Top of the seventh. That's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. Been great pitching, great defense. Not a yeah, lot looking at the pitch count, our pitcher's actually doing pretty solid. Oh, gets the no, 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 no. Thank God Tug Dick's got speed. He's like, I'm going to give the trains a hug. <laughs> Quit hugging the damn outfield wall. Top of the eighth. Even at four apiece. In the air to left. Another Dick. nice catch by Tug Dick. Hurry here as his side is quickly retired. We got to get another run, though. Three down for Colorado. Bottom of the eighth coming up. We're running out of time to do something. Bottom of the ninth, one out. Tug Dick needs to get on. Now, why do they have to have a lefty on the mound? Off the plate and away there. One ball, no 
strikes. One out, nobody on. Oh, just couldn't catch up with that. The pitch. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. I want that pitch back. I thought I was going to keep dropping. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. This whole episode was horrible. We lost again, didn't we? Wow. We lost two to one. Well, everybody, I'm going to run away embarrassed. It's not just Tug Dick's fault, though. I mean, one for four, he should be hitting better than that, I'll admit. But the rest of the team didn't do much of anything either. We had a guy on third. We couldn't get him home. Oh, well. At least we can say that Brandon Moss didn't save the day, which I don't even feel good about. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out.